it's Nisha and welcome back to my favorite series for the month of February since February is my favorite month I am going to be giving y'all all of my top favorite products and today's video is all going to be about my favorite conditioners and deep conditioners so if you're interested in finding out what my favorite deep conditioners and conditioners are then just keep watching okay so first I'm gonna start off with just regular conditioners and this bad boy I have been using for years and years and years. I used this back when I was relaxed and it still does me justice and that is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. That is a tongue twister. And this bad boy, it not only does it have tea tree oil, but it also has peppermint oil and eucalyptus oil, which are very good for um, scalp care. And this is also very affordable. I think you can get it for like $3.99, so less than $4. And the thing I like about this conditioner is that it is great at detangling your hair. It has so much slip. And I have used this in all different types of ways. I have used this as a pre-poo, so kind of detangle my hair and add moisture into my hair before I would shampoo or cleanse my hair. Um, I also use this as just like a regular conditioner after I have cleansed my hair. Um, I would put it in and leave it in for five minutes, do some finger, de finger detangling. And I have also used this as a deep conditioner, so leaving it in my hair for 30, to 30 minutes to an hour and it does wonders no matter how I use it. But more recently, I've used it more as like a detangler and I find that when I use more cheap um, conditioners to detangle my hair, uh, I can use a lot and not feel guilty and detangle my hair with it. And then when I go in with my deep conditioners that are more expensive, I find that I use less deep conditioner when I've already gone in with like a cheapy conditioner to go in detangle my hair. So love this bad boy like i said i've been using this for years it's 3.99 for 16 ounces so definitely try it out so another one of my favorite deep conditioners is this giovanni smooth as silk deeper moisture conditioner and my really good friend and roommate put me onto this so hey kiana shout out to you if you're watching and this bad boy is so moisturizing it is so moisturizing it's actually more moisturizing than the tea tree tingle um, conditioner that I showed you by Trader Joe's and it has tons of slip I use this in a similar manner that I used the tea tree tingle conditioner from Trader Joe's I use it as a pre poo I used it as just a regular conditioner slash detangler and I have also used it as a deep conditioner but my favorite way to use it is as a regular conditioner detangler um, when you put this bad boy in your hair the knots just melt away uh, you can run your fingers or your comb or your brush through your hair easily and this bad boy it's it's really amazing and it's also very affordable too. This big ol' um, bottle which is 33.8 ounces um, you can find at TJ Maxx or Marshalls um, for like $12.99. It's very affordable and this stuff like I love it. I love it. It's so good so definitely try this out. Okay so next we're going to move into deep conditioners. And we're gonna move into one of my favorite brands for deep conditioners, and that is the main choice. I actually have a lot of the main choice deep conditioners uh, in this video. First is the um, Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Mask. Now, first of all, this bad boy, it smells so good. I'm about to smell it because that's how much I love the smell. Uh, it smells so good. It smells like a tropical fruit punch. It is very, very moisturizing. It's packed with all types of vitamins. It has the coconut oil. It has biotin, which strengthens your hair. And it has aloe vera juice, which my hair loves aloe vera juice. It's so moisturizing. I would say that this uh, mask it's, it's a little bit runny, but it's definitely, um, 
more on the thicker side in my opinion it definitely does have slip to it so I'm able to detangle my hair with this product in my hair it doesn't have protein so for those of you who are protein sensitive or don't like using deep conditioners with protein this doesn't have protein the thing about this is that like the moisture does not leave my hair once I rinse out this deep conditioner I know sometimes like when you put deep conditioners in your hair and it feels all good you're like yes my hair gonna be moisturized it's gonna be juicy it's gonna be all these things but as soon as you rinse it out it's like wait like what happened to my hair it doesn't feel as good as it did when um, this bad boy was in it but this um, definitely uh, keeps the moisture and adds all sorts of nutrients to your hair even after you wash it out so definitely one of my favorites okay so the next deep conditioner that I'm gonna talk about is also from the main choice and it's from their ancient Egyptian line I actually don't have it on me right now uh, because I have used it all up and I haven't gone to repurchase it yet. I'm trying to get some of my other conditioners before I go and spend more money. But that one um, is actually the first of the main choices of deep conditioners that I ever tried. That bad boy, oh my gosh, it is so good. It has so much slip. It's more on the thin, like runny side, which I actually kind of prefer in a deep conditioner because to me, the thinner it is, the more slip that it has. That's not always the case, but typically that is the case. And so I can just go to town detangling. It smells very citrusy, and I have this obsession with citrus citrusy scents. So it's definitely one of my favorites. Again, some of the um, ingredients in the ancient Egyptian deep conditioner is manganga oil, vitamin E. It also has biotin and it's also protein free as well like i said before if you have issues with protein you don't have to worry about that with this deep conditioner if i didn't mention this before it's the one with the gold lid and i will have it linked down below another one of my favorite deep conditioners from the main choice is from their um, type 4 four leaf clover line and it is the and it's got a long name man it is the mandibility and softening remedy mask and so with this line it's um, specifically geared to women with type 4 hair when I put this bad boy in my hair my hair instantly feels soft it's definitely more on the thicker side and I barely <laughs> I barely have anything left in here but it's on the thicker side like when I flip it up it's not going anywhere um, it definitely doesn't have as much slip as the other two deep conditioners that I've talked about but it definitely has enough slip for me to detangle my hair with again this deep conditioner is packed with so many good ingredients it has a bunch of different oils which help to lock in the moisture in your hair it has aloe vera juice which I can't say enough good things about al aloe vera juice it has biotin which helps to strengthen your hair this particular uh, deep conditioner does have protein in it specifically it has hydrolyzed wheat protein but it is more towards the bottom of the list of ingredients and so therefore the protein isn't very highly concentrated in here and so I don't think if you are protein sensitive you'll have um, really any issues with this conditioner in fact I didn't even know I had protein until literally yesterday I was looking at the ingredients and I was like oh it has protein like oh okay I would definitely check this one out so speaking of protein one of my favorite deep conditioners that is well known to have some protein in it is the Myel Organics Babassu and Mint um, Oil Deep Conditioner like I said, this is um, one of my favorite uh, conditioners that has protein, but it also has a good balance of moisture as well. So when I put this in my hair and rinse it out, my hair feels moisturized, but feels very strong at the same time. I've been using this for years. I love the um, mint feeling. It's got that tingling and like cooling sensation on your scalp. It feels so good. I mean, it's, it's thick in the bottle 
but once you put it in your hair I feel like it becomes um, more like liquidy or more runny and so this is also another great deep conditioner to detangle your hair with it has lots of slip I personally try to add um, a little bit of protein to my hair at least once a month so this bad boy uh, is definitely one of my favorite ways to add that protein in my hair so definitely check this out okay so these last two deep conditioners are two conditioners that I've tried recently but they are that good that they've already made it to my favorites this is the Niche Beauty Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. So I did a review and demo featuring this deep conditioner and three other of the Niche Beauty products and y'all they're so good. So I'll have that video linked above in the cards and also down below. This deep conditioner really surprised me. Like I had heard really good things but even hearing all those good things this deep conditioner really did surprise me. First of all it smells so good. Like, I can't get enough of the smell. It smells like candy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and I will get some of my lip, right? It's, it's an interesting texture because it's thick to where it's, like, I'm turning it upside down. It's not coming out of the bottle. But once you, like, apply it to your hair, it has um, more the consistency of, like, a runny um, conditioner. And so, therefore, it has tons of slip. It has so much moisture I mean it has raw honey in it which honey is a very good humectant that attracts moisture from the atmosphere from the air into your hair when you put this in your hair your hair instantly feels soft once you rinse it out your hair still feels soft and moisturized and this conditioner is also protein free so you won't have any issues with um, protein overload so Love this bad boy, it's so good. So my last favorite deep conditioner is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. And this is like one of the OG deep conditioners that I don't know why I never picked up. I've always had it on my list of items that I wanted to try out, but for some reason never did. Um, people on YouTube rave about this. One of my cousins, Tara, hey Tara if you're watching this, she talks about this all the time. So I was just like, okay, let me just quit playing games. Let me go pick it up. First of all, it comes with 12 ounces of product. So thank you TGIN for not giving us eight ounces. <laughs> and this a little bit goes a long way. Like I am heavy handed with my products. I use a lot of products, especially deep conditioner, but I barely used this. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I have so much product left. This is going to last a while. The smell, it smells so good. I, I can't describe the smell. I'm actually very bad with describing smells, but it smells really, really good. Like the Miche Beauty uh, deep conditioner, this also has um, raw honey, which is really great um, at attracting moisture from the atmosphere, from the air, and uh, bring it to your hair. This conditioner, I would consider on the runny side, so the slip that it has, my fingers were just running through my hair like butter. It melted all my knots away. It made my hair super soft. It made it moisturized and fluffy and just, ugh. It was such a good deep conditioner. Okay y'all, so that is it for my favorite conditioners and deep conditioners. If you're interested in trying any of the products that I've mentioned, definitely check out the description um, box. That's where I will link all the products and also have all the pricing and everything. Also, if you didn't see one of your favorite conditioners or deep conditioners in this lineup, definitely comment that down below because I love trying new products, especially new balm products. So definitely tell me what your favorites are for sure and I will check those out. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up and oh, make sure you subscribe. I ha now have a regular posting schedule. I will be posting every Wednesday and Saturday so just stay tuned for that and subscribing to my channel will make sure that you are up to date and that you know when I've posted a new video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.